In this guide, we're going to look at the monsters most commonly found on wrecks and in alien ruins. However, some of them can spawn in caves on rare occasions. Starting off, let's look at Rex. These commonly have the following monsters. The Human Husk, the Leukocyte, the Terminal Cell, the Flesh Spike, the Flesh Gun, and the Thalamus. First, we have the Husk. The Husk is a parasitic creature that can live in humans and crawlers. We've already covered the Husk Crawler in part one, so we're going to be looking at the actual Husk in this video. It has 200 health, does bite, bleeding, and applies the Husk Infection, all for strength five, with a probability of bleeding bleeding at 75 and the husk infection at 50%. The attack will also stun the target for 0.5 seconds. If you get infected with the husk infection, it will begin to take over your body until you become deceased. Then your reanimated corpse will come to life and begin to attack your crewmates. If you want to know more about afflictions in the game, you can check out the medical guide listed in the top right of the screen. Next, we have the leukocyte. These are small bright green creatures that are continuously spawned out of a cell organ. They have 25 health, have a very fast respawn time, and can be dangerous in large numbers. They do six burn damage and cause stun of strength too. Instead of attacking you, the leukocyte can also explode. This is in a range of three meters. It will cause burn burning damage for strength 10, stun for 2 seconds, and have a 50% chance of adding paralysis for strength 0.125. Notably for these creatures, they always drop Parallaxis, which is useful for crafting Paralyzant and Endocrine boosters. They normally can be taken down easily with a plasma cutter or a single shot from an SMG or revolver. Moving on, we have the Terminal Cell. This is a special monster similar to the Leukocyte that is spawned specifically in inside your submarine if it is too close to a thalamus wreck. They are spawned from a flesh spike which is located on the top of an infected wreck. This will shoot itself up inside your submarine, destroying everything in its path. And in the process, it injects terminal cells into your submarine. These will seek you out and try to explode. Doing so will cause 100 structural damage in a two meter radius, as well as stun everything in that radius for 0.5 seconds. The best way to deal with this is to kill the thalamus brain, which we will cover shortly. Alternatively, you can stop them by removing all the connected flesh gun sacs. These are pods usually located underneath the flesh spike, but can also be found further inside the wreckage. As these may be linked to more than one ammo sack, the thalamus brain is usually a better target. Make sure when you kill an ammo sack to hit the like button on this video to show your dominance over those saggy sacks. Next, similar to the flesh spikes, we have the flesh gun. This is a thalamus specific turret that seek out submarines with long range harpoons. They will hook your submarine and drag it towards the infected wreck. This can be devastating if not dealt with quickly as there may also be flesh spikes looking to inject terminal cells. The best way again to take them out is to go for the thalamus brain. But if that's not an option, the flesh gun ammo sacks can be cut with a plasma cutter or hacked with a melee weapon to remove the gun's hold on your submarine. This brings us on to the thalamus brain. Not all wrecks you come across will be infected, but the ones that are have been taken over with a thalamus brain. Infected wrecks are easily spotted as there are either flesh guns, spikes, or leukocytes near the top of the wreck. Now, whilst it has no direct attack, on certain submarine wrecks, it can take control of conventional turrets. This can be deadly if you're not prepared for incoming fire. The only way to deal with this is to find the brain, which is usually located deep within the wreck, and destroy it with a plasma cutter, melee weapons, or explosives. Next, we're going to talk about the monsters found in alien ruins. Other monsters, such as crawlers and the husk monster, can spawn in these locations. However, the main two that are only found in the ruins are the Swarm Feeder and the Fractal Guardian. For the Swarm Feeder, it is actually a very small creature that moves incredibly fast and is sometimes hard to spot on the screen as they blend into the background of the alien ruins. 
They look like small reddish jellyfish that do bleeding damage and try to stack on top of you. They have 10 vitality, apply blood loss for strength 1, and have a 50% chance to cause bleeding also of strength 1. The best way to deal with them is single shots from an SMG or revolver or melee weapons. A plasma cutter also works, but it's quite difficult to get the right hitbox lineup when they're on top of you. Next, we have the Fractal Guardian. These are fast moving mobs that do high damage and have a special harpoon attack that can fling you around like a ragdoll. They have 400 health, do 30 lacerations, 30 bleeding, and can stun a target for 0.2 seconds. As these monsters are very tanky, make sure to have fully automatic weapons with lots of ammo and ensure you have good base armor or talents that give bonuses to health or damage. On top of their attacks, the Guardians have another special ability. If they are low on health, they seek out Guardian pods to regenerate. To stop this, you will need to use an alien artifact and select the red button to destroy the pod closest from the connected alien terminal. This will force the Guardian out of its pod so you can continue with the fight. That's all for this guide. Check out the next guide where we're going to be looking at larger monsters in the game. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And until next time, peace. Before the outro video, I want to give a huge shout out to all my supporters, especially the ones on Patreon. You mean the world to me and allow me to keep doing what I'm doing. Thank you. Nah, nah, nah.